Budapest as one of the world's great destinations, the Hungarian capital a historic, cultural and gastronomic center, uniting twin cities divided by the Danube, Europe's second longest river. One that in past years has played host to the breathtaking Red Bull Air Race World Championship as a teaser to the Hungarian Grand Prix, the race a mainstay on the calendar since 1986. The inaugural event held behind the Iron Curtain, Williams driver Nelson Piquet winning in front of 200,000 people as Eastern Europe woke up to the power of Formula One. Lewis Hamilton has since become the most successful in Budapest with six victories, two more than Michael Schumacher, three up on Senna. Six drivers, including Sebastian Vettel, have two. And while the German is no longer a realistic chance for the crown, Vettel 84 points behind Hamilton. A win in Hungary could be on, with his confidence boosted from a storming fightback drive in Germany. In F1, you're only as good as your last race. So all it takes for Vettel is one good race, and then he can turn things around and gain momentum and, and uh, string in, put in a string of uh, great races. So that's what I wish for him, that he has one good weekend. Located just 20 minutes from downtown Budapest, the 4.381 kilometer track features 14 turns, seven left and seven right, and a top speed of 315 kilometers an hour. Shumi's 2004 lap record remains. While there are two DRS activation zones, one along the pit straight and another following on to turn two, there is just a single DRS detection point at the entrance to turn 14. Given it's difficult to pass there, qualifying is fundamental for a good result in Budapest, with 15 of the last 33 race winners coming from pole position, and the lap a technical challenge for the drivers. It's quite a, a tricky lap. It's a lot of, you know, corner combinations and all the corners are somehow hooked up and connected to each other, so you need to find a good rhythm and, and get a good flow um, to produce good lap times here. Uh, good confidence, you know, and, and, and a good balance is usually key. One of the great traditional races, it's time to work up an appetite for the Hungarian Grand Prix, the last before F1's summer break. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.